Well, hey guys, for today's video, I wanted to share with you some of my all time favorite water resistant sunscreens for the face that you can find at the drugstore. In no particular order, these are just sunscreens that I personally am frequently recommending that I use a lot myself and that I happen to think are a great value overall. I have organic, aka chemical sunscreens, and I have inorganic, aka mineral sunscreens in this lineup, so hopefully there's something for everyone. Starting out with one of my all time favorite chemical sunscreens for the face and the body is La Roche-Posay Melt-In Sunscreen Milk. I've been recommending this for years. It's really fast absorbing, non-greasy. This is excellent. If you live somewhere that is very tropical, humid, you get sweaty frequently because the formula allows for good evaporation of sweat so that you don't feel overheated. The SPF 100 is actually better than lower SPF for protecting you against a sunburn. That's what research suggests because basically people, they don't apply enough sunscreen to ever really achieve the stated SPF on the bottle. You have to apply it pretty thick. So a higher SPF may actually in the long run be better for protecting you against a sunburn. Now, of course, when it comes to protecting your skin from the sun, you never wanna rely just on sunscreen alone. You wanna have other sun protective behaviors in place. But as far as the sunscreen itself, 100 might actually be a better option. Um, I really like this if you are going to be doing activities outdoor. If you're someone who runs, it's very difficult to reapply sunscreen on a long run. Let's be honest. Uh, it's, it's very difficult. So in addition to sun protective clothing, a water resistant, fast absorbing sunscreen like this is a really great option. Um, and this particular one, I don't ever have any issue with it burning my eyes. You know, that's a common issue that people run into with the chemical sunscreens is that they can burn or sting around the eyes. I've never had that issue with the La Roche-Posay Melton Sunscreen Milk. Now they also make this as an SPF 60. I honestly don't appreciate any difference in terms of how it feels or looks on the skin. There's no white cast with this. I mean, it is a go-to. Suitable for, all of these as a side note are suitable for adults, children, babies over the age of six months can use anything I'm talking about in this video. The next one is one that you'll recall I raved about a lot last year and I keep going back to because it is such a great value. It's a Bondi Sands SPF 50 broad spectrum sunscreen lotion. But they also make this and it specifically says face. I have to tell you, they're identical in terms of the ingredients, the way they feel, the way they look on the skin. So just go ahead and get this one that doesn't specifically call itself a face sunscreen because it is a much better value in the long run. This is very hydrating, but it's not greasy, sticky, or tacky. It's pretty fast absorbing. You could also rely on something like this if you're gonna be active outdoors. Never has caused any blurry vision for me, burning, stingy in the eyes. There's not anything in this that is is like a common allergen. I mean, it is really, really good. Uh, this is probably my third or fourth bottle of this. It's also a great everyday moisturizer. Speaking of which, you know, one issue that a lot of women don't realize is that you accumulate a lot of sun damage on your lower legs. It's actually a common area for skin cancers in women in particular because, you know, you wear skirts, shorts, don't necessarily protect that part of your skin from the sun per se with sunscreen, or maybe you lay out by the pool and your lower legs are exposed. So just getting in the habit of putting on a moisturizing sunscreen onto the legs on a daily basis, especially if you're like me and you, you know, wear skirts and things the majority of the year, it's a really good habit just to have that extra protection on board. And this is a great one because it, it doesn't like leave that filmy residue behind on the skin that seems to attract dust and particulates. And it's also very moisturizing. So you feel like you're just, you know, putting more moisturizer on. It improves the appearance of dry skin on the body. Um, it's, it's a great option. Another great one that I raved about, you can buy this one um, at Target. I've seen it at a few drugstores as well. It's the Black Girl Sunscreen Kids. This again is a chemical sunscreen. I'll do the mineral ones towards the end. This is a chemical sunscreen. This one is very hydrating. It's not as quick absorbing as the others that I mentioned, but it's pretty good. It doesn't feel greasy or 
sticky on the skin surface. There's no white cast with this. It's such a good value that while I love all of the sunscreens that this brand makes, I continue to repurchase the kids one because the price point cannot be beat and the formula is excellent. This is an underrated sunscreen in my opinion, and it runs for $10 for three ounces. You know, it's marketed for kids, but a lot of this age specific marketing is just that, marketing. Um, the sunscreen that you use as an adult, your children can use. What's important is that it's a sunscreen that they like and that they're not going to be bothered by the feel of it. You know, they're gonna be comfortable wearing it and willing to wear it and reapply it. That is the most important thing. Don't get bogged down in marketing that tells you that this is a safe one for kids versus a, you know another one. They're all safe for kids. The unsafe thing is children getting sunburns. Sunburns in early childhood set the stage for skin cancers later on in life. The most prime active thing you can do for your child's uh, skin health long term is keep them from getting sunburned. Um, and sunscreen is one way to do it. Now this year I discovered from Banana Boat, their Protection Plus Vitamins face. It doesn't burn around my eyes. You know, that's, that's really a challenge. Like anything that I'm including in this video is a sunscreen that um, I can use on the face and does not cause that blurry it, eye issue for me. It's gonna vary from person to person. Some of you may still run into that issue, but I have to say this one from Banana Boat has been wonderful. It has antioxidants in it as well, which may help in lessening the burden of oxidative stress that our skin is exposed to when we go out, not only from UV rays causing damage, but also pollutants, infrared radiation, and that stress on our skin can aggravate underlying skin conditions like eczema and acne, for example. Uh, so if you're gonna be spending a lot of time outdoors, that may be something beneficial to have uh, in place. Specifically, this one has uh, a form of vitamin C, ascorbyl glucoside, and it also has tea extracts, niacinamide in it. Good for dry skin, good for oily skin. It's good for the moisture barrier. Now this product does have coconut oil. I know some of you have mentioned before that coconut oil aggravates your acne, so be aware of that in this formula, but it's really good. Water resistant, 80 minutes. Now another similar brand that you can find in the drugstore that's really good, especially for those of you who have oily skin, is the Copper Tone Oil-Free Face Sunscreen. It's very fast absorbing. It's not super matte though, but there's no white cast with that one. And it has kind of an oil absorbing property to it so that it doesn't start to get greasy looking or shiny looking as you go on throughout the day. Of course, that varies a lot from person to person. And some people with super oily skin, they're just gonna find that every single sunscreen that they use makes them look shiny. A lot of it just has to do with the fact that sunscreen active ingredients often need oily ingredients to solubilize into the formula. So oftentimes they do look shiny, but manufacturers add things like um, aluminum starch to kind of help absorb some of that excess oiliness. So that particular formula from Copper Tone is excellent. Free of fragrance, as are all of these that I'm mentioning. And last but not least, in the realm of chemical, aka organic sunscreens that are water resistant, you can buy at the drugstore. Neutrogena uses something, some technology called Helioplex, which basically is just their way of stabilizing the UV filters in the formula. So last summer, you'll recall, I discovered the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense sun serum and I really liked this a lot but I have to say I much prefer their newer ultra sheer moisturizing face serum this has a lot of the um, perks that I enjoyed with this one but some things removed this one does not have the dyes in it the red dyes if you recall the invisible daily defense serum it has like red dyes in it which give it this like peachy color that, you know, it, it doesn't affect how it looks on your skin, but some people's skin is very sensitive to dyes, so it's great to have a dye-free sunscreen. In contrast to the Invisible Daily, the Ultra Sheer does not have feverfew or chrysanthemum extracts, which some people you know, may be allergic to. This formula I love though, is similar to the Invisible Daily. Um, this one absorbs very quickly. It's so lightweight, it's very hydrating does not burn around my eyes. Again, that's very individualized though, and I really love the finish. It's hydrating, it's kind of a demi-matte, 
and it does not it does not look greasy or shiny. Cosmetics go on over it just fine, like makeup and stuff. You know, as is the case with all of these, this is a great everyday sunscreen for the face for those of you that live in really humid climates. It's very lightweight, very fast absorbing. It doesn't feel heavy, which is important for people who have rosacea. Sometimes very heavy sunscreens can make them feel overheated um, and that can precipitate a flush. Now, some of the issues that I pointed out with the organic sunscreens may lead you towards the towards instead choosing an inorganic sunscreen, more commonly known as mineral sunscreens. And these issues are that in contrast to the chemical sunscreens, mineral sunscreens don't do that blurry eye vision thing. They're not gonna sting. They are often better tolerated in those who have very sensitive skin. It's not 100% guarantee, but mineral sunscreens tend to be less likely to sting and burn. So if you have very sensitive skin, you may lean into a mineral sunscreen instead of a chemical one. However, the, the downside of mineral sunscreens is that for people who have very deep skin tones, they leave some degree of a white cast. Some are better than others, but even if they're tinted, they leave some degree of a cast. Now, when it comes to drugstore water resistant mineral sunscreens for the face, I would be remiss if I did not mention the popular Australian gold botanic tinted mineral SPF 50 water resistant sunscreen. This is one for those of you who are seeking desperately a very, very, very matte finish. This is gonna be your matte mineral tinted sunscreen. It comes in two shades. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you know that this particular sunscreen aggravates my skin. It's too matte for me and it aggravates my skin. I have eczema, it, it triggers eczema flares. I get irritation from this. I cannot use it. Part of me also thinks that it may be related to the cockadoo plum in the formula. I'm not entirely sure, you know? I just know that I've tried it numerous times over the years and it does not work for me. But I need to point it out because it's a drugstore sunscreen. It's free of fragrance, it's water resistant, but it's $17.99 for three ounces. That's a really good deal. So if you're looking for that super matte sunscreen, I think you'll like it. But if you have even the hint, a hint of dry skin or tendency towards dry skin, stay away. Or even, you know, if you have eczema, very sensitive skin, I just could not, I could not tolerate that ever. But I need to mention it here because if you're on the hunt for a matte sunscreen, definitely check that one out. Y'all know when it comes to mineral water resistant sunscreens, this year I have just been so in love with the Neutrogena Pure Screen. It comes in four shades, light, medium, medium deep, and deep. The medium deep and deep are, you know, not really complementary to my skin tone, but the medium really looks looks pretty good for me, and that's what I go, go towards. The light also works well for me. These tinted uh, mineral sunscreens from Neutrogena, they don't have that orangey hue to them. Easy to tolerate around the eyes, as is the case with mineral sunscreens. Now, I know a lot of y'all have issues with niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Um, this does not have either of those ingredients, and that would be another great option for you. A drugstore water-resistant tinted mineral sunscreen that I just dis discovered last year, and it's very good, is the Sun Balm Tinted Mineral. Now, this is SPF 30, similar to this Neutrogena one. The Sun Balm one only comes in one shade, but they did a great job with that shade. It's not a really orange. It doesn't lean to be too red, and it doesn't, it doesn't give you that kind of chalky look that some tinted sunscreens can. It's, it's actually a very good blendable formula. It works out well for a lot of skin tones, despite only offering that one shade. Uh, no fragrance, no niacinamide, it's moisturizing. It has almost a whipped consistency. All the sunscreens that I've raved about up until this point have been water resistant up to 80 minutes. This is the exception. It's water resistant up to 40 minutes. It's $20 for 1.7 ounces. You can get that one at Target, Amazon. I mean, it's available widely. This is one that is newer to the drugstore, but one I have loved for years and years and years. You can now buy MD Solar Science at CVS. This will leave a white cast for some skin types, but it's a very good formula if you have dry and or very sensitive skin. The cast on this is not bad. Like I love wearing this. This is one of my favorite mineral sunscreen brands, but a lot of people complain that they don't like the feel of this on their skin because it is one that takes some time to dry down. It kind of does leave your skin feeling wet for a bit of time. 
um, and you have to be patient with it. But for me, this is one I love. It's very comfortable to reapply. It, it's comfortable around the eyes. You're not gonna get that burning or stinging sensation. If you have a deeper skin tone, you know, for an all mineral non-tinted sunscreen, the cast on this isn't horrible, but it will show up on your skin. In addition to being water resistant, it has antioxidants in it. It has tetrahexyl desyl ascorbate. That's a stable form of vitamin C that you know may help your skin in defending against oxidative stress. It also has green tea extract and uh, extracts from pomegranate, which are good for, again, combating free radical. It builds itself as having a matte finish, uh, but a lot of people do still find it very shiny. It's good if you live somewhere humid because it's very silicon rich. So the silicones, uh, you know, they have almost an astringent property to them uh, to allow for good evaporation of sweat and, and not make the formula very greasy. MD Solar Science is going to be $30 for 1.7 ounces. So more expensive than some of the others that I've recommended. But at CVS, man, you know, sometimes there are deals. And if you're a CVS Extra Care member, uh, you can often, you know, you're going to get a percentage back. Uh, so if you shop at CVS, definitely sh sign up for their extra care program. You, you save a lot in the long run doing that. You can also buy this from their website. You can buy it from Amazon. You can buy it, you know, online. But it is, it is now what I would consider a drugstore option. And, and this is a really good product, free of fragrance, as are all of these. All right, so that's the roundup of fragrance-free, water-resistant sunscreens for the face that you can buy at the drugstore. A lot of great options here. You know, I often get asked, what's better, mineral or chemical? They, they both can protect you against UVA and UVB broadly. Chemical sunscreens often are more likely to sting in comparison to mineral sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens can burn around the eyes. Mineral sunscreens, unlikely to burn around the eyes. Mineral sunscreens on deeper skin tones will leave that chalky white cast. Let me know in the comments though, if you have discovered a drugstore uh, sunscreen for the face that's water resistant uh, that you love. You know, there are a lot of other sunscreens that I've been raving about, reviewing, you know, hyping up over the past couple of months because I always want to share as many sunscreen options with you guys as possible. The reasons they didn't make it into this video are because either they're not a drugstore sunscreen or they're not water resistant. As a side note, um, I recently did a video for you guys on my top recommendations for sunscreen screens for the lips. You're going to want to check that video out next because it's super important to protect your lips from the sun. So I'm going to put it on the end slate. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.